In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of ozone. Ozone is an allotrope of oxygen gas. Elemental oxygen can exist in many forms. We're familiar with oxygen gas, but ozone is another form of oxygen, which exists in the upper atmosphere. But getting back to the Lewis structure of O3, the first thing we need to do is add up the number of valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons. In the periodic table, you could find it in group 6A. All the elements in group 6A, they have six valence electrons. Three times six is 18. So there are 18 valence electrons in this molecule. Now this number helps us because we could use it to calculate the number of lone pairs on a central oxygen atom. So what you wanna do is make a list of the multiples of eight and select the multiple that you want to select the highest multiple of 8 just under 18. So that's going to be 16. Next, subtract 18 by 16, which is you know that number. You'll get 2. This is the number of electrons on a central oxygen atom. So two electrons corresponds to one lone pair. So let's draw uh, this molecule. So let's put the lone pair on a central oxygen atom. Now, oxygen is in the second row of the periodic table, which means it needs to respect the octet rule. It cannot have more than eight electrons. It can have less under special circumstances, but it can't have more than eight valence electrons, especially when drawing the Lewis structure. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a bond. So right now we have four. This is two, four electrons. We're going to add another bond. That's six. Now, at this point, we can only add one more bond so that the middle oxygen has eight electrons. So that tells us that one of the other oxygen atoms will be double bonded. The other will be single bonded. Now, whenever oxygen has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs. When it has one bond, it will have three lone pairs. And this is the Lewis structure of O3. If you add up the valence electrons, it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then 18. Ozone has a bent molecular geometry. The bond angle is close to 120 and the hybridization of the central oxygen atom it's sp2 hybridized now let's talk about the formal charges in this molecule to calculate the formal charge we could use this simplified equation it's the number of valence electrons minus the bonds and dots around that element so focusing on the oxygen on the left side it has six valence electrons, two bonds, four dots. So six minus six is zero. Thus, this oxygen is neutral, which is usually the case when oxygen has two bonds. Now let's focus on the central oxygen atom. It too has six valence electrons, but it has a total of three bonds and only one lone pair or two dots. So we get six minus five, which is one. So the central oxygen atom has a positive formal charge. Now for the oxygen on the right, it's going to be six minus the one bond that it has. And it has three lone pairs or six dots. Six minus seven is negative one. So overall, this molecule is neutral, but we do see separation of charge within the O3 molecule. That is separation of formal charge. Now, we can draw the resonance structure of O3. By the way, this is the Lewis structure of O3 for those of you who are wondering. But sometimes you may need to draw the resonance structure as well. And here's what you could do to draw it. So we're going to take a lone pair, use it to form a double bond, and then we're going to break two electrons in this double bond and push two lone pairs in the other oxygen atom. And so you can also draw the Lewis structure like this if you want to.
the central oxygen atom will maintain the positive formal charge, but the one on the left will now carry the negative charge. It turns out that the real structure of ozone is actually a hybrid of these two resonance structure. So even though the center oxygen atom bears the positive formal charge, the negative charge is technically shared between the two oxygen atoms because the electrons could shift between them. And that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of ozone, you know how to draw its resonance structure, and you know how to identify the formal charges in this molecule. Thanks for watching.